Welcome to CQG. Today I'm going to show you how to work with pages in our QTrader and some cool features you can do with them. So let's get started. The Pages toolbar is right up here and this provides several buttons that help you manage and navigate. Once you have a page set up just the way you like, you can save the current page and its current page number just by clicking the Save button right here. You can also save a page to a specific page number by right clicking the Page button right here and clicking save to a page number. In this case we're going to save to page number two. You can also set page preferences just by right clicking the page number right here and going to preferences and here you can choose whether you always want to save, confirm to save, or manual save. We always have our preferences to always save right here as you can see. Naming pages provides an easy way to remember a page's contents. If the contents of a page changes you might also want to change the name of the page. So to change the page's name or name a page you're just going to right click the page button and scroll down to rename right here and we have the saved options but we can edit it and just call it the options page right and we can also put it into a group. And we're going to put this in our QTrader group and that's how we rename pages. We can also manage our pages and to do that we just right click our page button go to page manager and you'll see all the pages we have currently in QTrader right now and depending if you wanna get rid of certain pages or rename them you can renumber them you can do all this in the page manager right here if you wanna start fresh and create a new page you're just gonna right click the page button all together and go down to new page and you'll get a clean slate and you can start a new page from there. We can also delete pages. You'll see here as this is our one of our pages right here. And we can delete this right clicking the page number and delete the current page. And you'll see it just gets rid of it like that. Moving to another page is as easy as clicking these next and previous buttons right here. We can go next and we'll get all our different pages and we'll just scroll through all the pages you have. You can also use our shortcut by clicking Control Plus and Control Minus to scroll through our pages. And lastly we have our Auto Cycle and to use that on our pages that's just to maneuver through your pages automatically and you can set it up to your own specifications by simply going to the Auto Cycle options and it'll pop up and you can edit this we have it set for two seconds just to maneuver through all of our pages you click start and then it'll start auto cycling through all your pages and that is how you work with pages in QTrader thank you for using CQG and have a great day